All right, let's have a look at this question nine. I believe this is a 2019 uh, uh, past year paper uh, for extended math. So exam code is 0580. Uh, variance is 42 October, November 2019. All right, this is question number nine. Yeah, because I kind of need to help my student with this question. So I decided to make a short video about it. So this question say like car A and car B will take part in the race around the circular track. So one lap of the tracks will measure uh, 7.6 km. So you just imagine you should have a circle and, and one lap of it, the circumference of the circle is 7.6 km. All right. Right, car A will take 2 minutes 40 seconds to complete uh, 8 laps of the track. So if I convert 2 minutes 40 seconds into either minute or second also can. If I want to change that into the second, this one is 120 seconds plus 40 seconds in the next. So it will be 160 seconds. Alright, this one is 120 uh, seconds plus 25 seconds is 145 seconds. So from here, we should know the car B actually have the... Uh, faster speed so car a is just slightly slower so both car travel at a constant speed so yeah the speed doesn't change All right so calculate the speed of car a give your answer uh, in kilometer per hour so this one you must be very careful because right now you have second only but then you need to change them into the uh, hour so yeah so that we know that speed equals to distance over time but distance must be in km time must be in hour so distance over here 7.6 is very easy. Okay, so for car A, my time is 160 seconds. If I want to convert into the hour, I need to divide 3600. This is how to convert second to hour. Okay, divided by 3600. Okay, then I can just use the calculator to do the work for me. So I say divide 160 over 3600. And I should be able to get my answer really easy. 171 km per hour. All right. I think the difficult part is the uh, part B. Okay, what the part B says something that both car tracks uh, start the race from the same position as. So I just assume for this uh, track here, we should have the starting position as here. So the car A going to travel like this and B going to travel like this as well. So because both of them have the different speed, right? So when they rotate one round, right? They, both of them not going to meet each other. So over here, they will say it's like, okay, both of them start from the S at the same time. So both of them start from the S here from the same time. All right, then find the time taken when both car A and car B are next at the position S at the same time. So you just imagine the car A going to rotate, car B going to rotate, okay? But definitely they're going to rotate uh, uh, different timing but then def definitely because car b is faster right so definitely at a certain moment the car b will meet the car a at the position s here uh, yeah i think the car the car b will rotate more round because you actually drive faster right you just imagine you drive faster maybe the car a already like six round already then car i mean car b already like six round already then car a is only like four round you will reach as a s here but we do not know so we kind of need to find out like how many laps for b and how many laps for a here okay so what my logic here is because i know because this time here 160 second and 145 second here represent what then for a car A, they will take 160 seconds to reach the S. This one also means car B will, will take 145 seconds to reach the S. So this one at the same time is the uh, is a second, is a time for them to reach the X. Time to reach position S. Okay, so therefore I can use this one to know when they're going to meet at the S here. So my logic is, okay, you see here, you should know the difference is like 15 seconds faster, right? The car B is like 15 seconds faster. So definitely I rotate, I do certain round, the car B will meet the car A at the S here. So what I want to do is I need to find their lower common multiply. So therefore, if let's say I have 160 seconds 
and 145 seconds. So I want to know what is the common time for both of them. So definitely both of them will reach certain time is the same, isn't it? So what I want to do right now is I use the lower common multiply method. I divide 5 here. This one will give me 32. This one will give me 29. And both of the number cannot divide anymore, isn't it? So I know my lower common multiply is 5 multiply 32 multiply 29. Alright, it's 5 times 32 times 29. So it's 4,640 seconds. So I know after 4,640 seconds, both of them going to meet at the S here. So definitely the answer here, they want me to convert into the minute and second. It's quite easy. I will just use this number divided by 60, then I convert into the minutes, which is 77 minutes. All right, then um, this one, if I change to the, the fraction, uh, mixed number, you should be able to know this 77 minutes and one over three minutes, isn't it? So if I know one over three minutes means how many seconds, I can minus 77 and then multiply 60. So it should equals to 20 seconds. Okay, this is how I change uh, 4640 into the minute and second. Okay, then it's kind of max sense, isn't it? If you go back to the question, right, like this one. So like, if I want to see like the laps, uh, number of laps for car A. So what I want to do is I can use 4640 divided by 160 seconds. So I use 4640 divided by 160 then I know the car A actually rotate 29 laps. All right. Then if I want to do the same thing for number, number of laps of laps for car B. Then I will, I will use 4640 divided by 145. Uh, 4640 divided by 145. Because this time actually like both of the second also can be divided by uh, 4640. So this one is like 32 laps. Okay, so you just imagine both A and B, they're going to move at the same time. They're going to keep on rotate. So like for car A, when he rotate like 29, like 29 round or 29 laps here, actually called 29 laps, they actually will stop at S here. Okay, they stop at, lap, at the S here after 70 uh, I, I believe it's 77 minutes, isn't it? Yeah, after 77 minutes and 20 seconds. Then after after 29 round, after 29 round, the car A going to stop at the S here. But then car B is faster, isn't it? So the car B going to rotate 32 round. Keep on rotate until 32 round, then only the car B will stop at S. So of also after 77 minutes, 20 seconds. This is meanings of same time, isn't it? Yeah, so this kind of question is a little bit tricky if you don't get it, but if you get it already, it should be fine. All right, then we go to the last part. Find the distance of car A travel at this time. Because right now we know the car A actually tra travel 29 laps, isn't it? So each lap will take about 7.6 km. Yeah, if you're not sure, you can just uh, scroll up and then look for it, yeah, its lap is 7.6 km. Then I wanted to know the total distance the car A travel. I just use 29 multiply 7.6. Then I should be able to get my answer easily, which is 220.4 km. Okay, 220.4. All right, this is how I solve this question. I think the only difficult part is about the part B one. All right, then the rest should be fine. But then for like A, this kind of question, right, you must be very careful because they give you minute or second. They want you to convert into the hour. You need to know how to convert them as well. Anyways, uh, this video is a little bit long, so I hope you can learn something from this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.